back everyone for some more of my journeyman career mode here with Hertz and on FIFA 22. I almost forgot to mention this is FIFA 22, but we are going to be beginning this episode by playing this match against Motherwell. And um, much to my surprise, we are still on top of the Premiership. We are one point out of, of, of Celtic. We do have a game in hand, so we could very well cushion our lead here. But not only we're going to play this game against Motherwell, but we're going to be playing a game against Celtic. Then I'm going to sim this match against Bodo Glimt. I'm going to be simming this game against Dundee United. I may play this game against Livingston. I'm not sure. It just depends on what happens with a Dundee FC game. And then we'll be ending the episode by playing this game against Gwernick Zabsha. Is when I found out that it's supposed to be pronounced Zab Gwernick Zabsha. So we'll be ending the episode here. But, um, before we continue on, hopefully you guys have an awesome day today. Hopefully you guys are doing well. But we did end up getting a, a scout, well, a youth cami player in a rather high-rated one. And Douglas Gibb, he is, well, he's not exactly, I mean, he had 400k in value. He was the highest value one that we got, but 54-rated goalkeeper, eh. We'll keep him in there. I don't think there's really anybody in this this youth team that I end up graduating. I'm not. But um, without further ado, we are going to play this game with our first. With our, we're going to be playing this game with our backup team. I should say, perfectly clear skies at Ivy Lane. Motherwell's always had nice kits. And I especially like those away kits. Those are awesome. But we're going to go ahead and keep the kits on as is. They are playing 4-3-3 holding, much like we are. So, one of the few teams that we played so far that have not played 5 in the back. So, that's definitely a nice refresher there. But we are going to go ahead and get into this match. And you see Liam Jacque is a feature player here, or starting left winger in this game, but our backup left winger behind McKay. But here we are, we start the episode off on the road, up against Motherwell. Not quite of a, a big Scottish team as, say, like Celtic, Rangers, Hearts, or Hibs. But they are definitely among the better teams in this league. I'd have to I'd have to put them alongside Aberdeen in terms of prestige. Victor Boniface showing his speed. Once again, applying some pressure. Forcing the opponent opposing team to make a mistake. Oh, the game actually picked out Boniface for me. Holy heck. And that was a big issue with me in the last episode. The game absolutely would not pick out the guy that I wanted to pass it to. How many goals is that for Boniface? I think that's three. Three goals in five matches. That's not bad for, for him hardly getting any game time. Nice. There we go. Nice finish by Boniface. He had a brace in the get the other game I played with him. So it's a guy that certainly knows how to score goals. Well, you expect him to score goals considering he's a striker, but. Definitely isn't messing about. He's definitely making the most of his opportunities here. Oh, what kind of crap? Oh, that was a uh, that was a tap. That was a weird goal. And instead of passing it outward, he should have went ahead and just 
Okay, I don't know. Then why was it? He actually legit, legit kept that ball out instead of just tapping it in. That sound like um, Chubbs from Happy Game where they just tap it in. But anyway, a 3-1 win. That seems to be a very popular scoreline with us. Roberts with a consolation. Rangers beat winning their game. I don't know about Celtic. And speaking of Celtic, that is going to be the next game that we play. Kind of wish Mbenza would start growing a bit. But we are traveling to Celtic Park here in Glasgow for this match. And St. Johnston's in second place right now, though they played one more game than ourselves and Celtic. But we could really put a cushion between ourselves and especially not only Celtic, but Rangers. So hopefully we won't flub this up. Well, it's East Point Arena in here, but in real life, it's Celtic Park. Okay, I'm going to keep our away kits on. Huh. I think I'm going to put them on because you traditionally see them in the... Uh, Green and white hoops, but I want to see them in all green. Those kits actually look... They kind of remind me of Sheffield United's away kits from three seasons ago. But um, we are playing with our strongest lineup. Celtic is building a very strong lineup themselves. J Excuse me. Joe Hurt and goal. Got, got Ross Turnbull. Um, Craig Forrest. Uh, Furuhashi. Um, Armstrong is in there. Juranovic. Yeah, this team is not one to be trifled with, so we definitely have to do our best here to try to hold off one of the best teams in Scotland. You see Isaac and Benza is the featured player here. I'm not interested in warm-ups. But here we are. Uh, S East Point Arena, a.k.a. Celtic Park. And say this has title implications, in a way. I don't know why they're highlighting Livingston. Oh, maybe it's because they're showing that it, they would be relegated if relegation was a thing. Though, I, I think 10th and 11th play a playoff, and then the winner of that gets to... Wait a minute, or is that the other way around? I think it's the 11th place goes off against the playoff of the... Um, whoever gets out of the playoffs in the championship. And yes, they are playing You'll Never Walk Alone, alone much like Liverpool does. Nice run by Mbenza. Those kits are nice. Oh. And Benza got the deflection, but I don't think he even anticipated that that ball was going to bounce off him like it did. <sighs> Devlin. Okay. That's kind of a putrid cross, but somehow... Benza gets it in the back of the net. I gotta see this again. Yeah, definitely not the best cross, but Mbenza from a very tight angle. 
And all Joe Hurd can do is just watch. Because that is a heck of a good goal. And Benza going on a brace here, looking for a hat trick. Oh, God. Why am I guys learn how to cross? What is going on with crossing? There we go! Really didn't want Joe Hart to have time to react on that one. And Gracia was up for the task and he delivers. Yeah, the, the, yeah I'm, the, the lack of crossing ability is doing my head in. I had to go through that with Hartley Pole and then I'm having to do, do with it here. If I get to, like, one of the bigger teams I'm still having problems with crossing, then it's going to be... I'm going to try it one more time. Okay, McKay. Okay, that was a decent cross, and Benza gets his hat trick. His hat trick, I should say. I need to learn how to talk and breathe at the same time. There we go. And I think that should be it. That should be it for Celtic. They do get two goals back through Kyogo and Armstrong. Sutar came on for Atkinson. Kind of a weird sub, but whatever. Okay, just want to thank you for giving me a chance to reach my potential. I'm going to tell him I know you've got potential. Is he? Is he on the bench? Oh, I guess he, yeah. Okay. Cass Cassis is now up to 71. Uh, let's see. Gordon's down to 68. Boniface is up to 68. So my team's growing a little bit. But we are going to sim ahead. We are going to be uh, simming this match against the Norwegian side, Bodo Glimt. They must have beat uh, Gornik Zabja in the previous match. Okay, let's take a look at their kits here real quick before we sim. I like their home kits. Those aren't bad kits. I like those. They're playing a 4-3-3 flat. Solbach, and a, a, a player that you guys should know from my Nottingham Forest and Darmstadt career modes. Never quite got a starting position for either one of those career modes, even though I signed him as a starting winger in my Solbakken career mode. It just didn't turn out. And we end up getting a 1-1 one -one draw. Solbakken ends up getting the equalizer 11 minutes after Mbenzo opens up the scoring. So the guy that I signed in two previous career modes uh, is the guy that uh, has us share the spoils here in the conference league. But I am going to go ahead. Hmm. If I was playing this game, I would put Gordon in there, but I can't. I want to make sure I have the best opportunity for a result. So we are going to go ahead. I am sending this with my backup team. Squad report from the 6th through the 12th players are on in international duty. Uh, 
Tell him we got bigger games coming up, even though he just scored a hat-trick against Celtic. But we are up against uh, Dundee FC, who are next to bottom. Okay, who who is the bottom team in the league? Okay, Celtic's down in fifth. Rangers is in second. St. Mary and St. Johnson tied with 13. Livingston on the bottom. Okay, who's the leading goal scorer? It's still Herrera for us, but he's one behind Mogu, Doidge, and Rebo. Okay, let's see what Dundee's kits look like before we sim this match. Eh, they're kind of okay, I guess. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to quick sim this. And we get another... <coughs> Guys, we can't keep on dropping points. We can't. And because we end up losing that match, we are definitely going to be playing the game against bottom side Livingston. Because if we can lose the, the second from bottom team, we will definitely lose to the bottom side. So I'm going to have to play the... And that was not a great... Anytime you lose, that's not a great performance. I don't care if I just simmed it or not, but... That's getting ridiculous. We're not getting results. Where does that put us in the league? Well, we're still... Four points out of Rangers, but... That could have easily been at least five, preferably seven... Points... Ahead of freaking Rangers. I mean, no, I'm not looking to win the league, but at the same time, though, we can't... I mean, it's going to be games like that we're going to look back on and, like, maybe if we would have beat that team or maybe we wouldn't have drawn points against that team. I can't believe we lost against Dundee. I can't. Yeah, my thing isn't necessarily win the Scottish Premiership. I do want to win the Scottish Cup, though. And I want to see how far I can get in the Conference League. Which, what was our objective in the Conference League, anyway? They want us to reach a quarterfinal. Okay. But we are definitely playing this game against Livingston. I wish Benzo would start growing. But we are playing against the bottom side at home. I would have preferred to sim this game, but I know darn well if I simmed it, I would be dropping points. I know I would. But we'll take a look at them. First of all, we are not playing in the freaking rain. It's kind of nice kits. I'll put our away kits on again. Yeah, let's play under clear skies for once. Livingston playing a 4-3-3 holding, much like we are. Chuck Womeka, Shinny, Forrest, Holt, Fitzwater, some of the names I recognize on that team. Oh, I can't believe we're playing this game. I would much prefer to sim this match, but it is what it is. And then we'll be playing the match against Gornick to the end of the episode. But Emma Petrovic is our featured player. Kind of hope he grows by a little bit more. This is a message for Alan Roach. That's Alan Roach. Please can you come to reception? Your wife is waiting for you. Thank you. Oh, you don't want to be sleeping on the couch tonight, Alan Roach. You better get and get to the reception area. <laughs> <laughs> she, she doesn't appreciate her hubby getting away from her like that. But anyway, focusing at the task at hand, we are coming by, coming off of, 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 an, of an embarrassing loss against Dundee FC, which I am going to consider that an embarrassment, considering they were second from bottom. Okay, 
let's see, McKay, can we put in a, a better crossing effort in this game? Which, that was good. I don't know what that was for the first touch by Gracia, but as long as he gets the ball in the back of the net, the net that's all I care about. Because I don't know what that was for the first touch. I don't. I don't know what that was for the first touch. I don't know why he just didn't just toe the ball in the net. Good thing Livingston's goalkeeper doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Or that, could, that could have been very bad very quickly. That's only his fourth goal of the campaign, so he's tied with Victor Boniface. Despite Boniface playing significantly less amount of games. I don't know how I feel about that. And Gracia, I don't really have an issue with the way, Gra the, the way Gracia plays. He's just, for whatever reason, he's just not scoring goals, especially in sim games. Oh, that's not a white... Oh, I, that's not even... Why did the game think I was... I'm tired of crossing being so crap in this game. I'm trying real hard not to swear, but... This game is really doing my head in right now. And the one time that Gracia was actually in a decent position, of course, the game does not select them. I, I, I'm done trying to figure out EA. I really am. And at the time of recording this, I do not own EAFC 24. I'm not really sure if I want to own it. Not to mention the game looks like something you get... If people if people say how bad FIFA looked on the Switch, EAFC even on the PlayStation Five looks like it's on the Switch. It's one of the ugliest games I've ever seen. But anyway, that's another rant for another day. Gracias as a second, please, guys, do not blow this. And we do keep the clean sheet. Janelli, Herring, and Boniface came up from Benza, Casas, and Gracia, respectively. Rangers continue dropping points. That's very good news for us. St. Moon is actually the team that's chasing us right now. But Bodo Glimt is on top position. We They are tied with us. Everton is in second. Oh, they must have won their game against Gornick. And Benza has a lot to say. Just want to say I'm grateful they've kept me in mind even when I was out injured. I'm going to say I have no waking off. I kind of wish he'd stop talking to me now. He's getting kind of irritating, I'm being honest. But we are going to go ahead. We're going to sim ahead to this match against uh, Gornick Zabsha. But we do have our final scouting report coming in from Scotland. So we'll be looking at that beforehand. Okay, let's see if we got any... Oh, look at this guy, Oliver McCallum. Only 400 grand, though. I'm going to sign him, but that's disappointing. Kirk McGinnis is a reject. A Logan Galbraith. I'm going to go ahead and sign him. Galbraith is a great wingback. Okay, you got... Doesn't... You look more like a winger. Yeah, I'm not saying you'll be a right winger. You don't really look like a, a, a wide back at all. Okay, McCallum. I don't play with cams. Can you play? Looks like he is a cam. And he's he's only 55 rated, so that's not... that's That's disappointing to me. It really is. Avila's up to 77, Atkinson's up to 72, Cassis is up to 71, but we are going to end the episode by playing this game. We are traveling to Poland for this match. Gornick have yet to get a point. And once again, we are not playing in the freaking rain. I do want to put our home kits on. 
I'll I'll leave their home kits on. Ah uh, no. Game. I want those kits on. Thank you. Okay, they're playing a three four two one. Interesting formation. I'd be lying if I said that I. I wonder if that's Lucas Podolski, the famous German striker. Because outside of him, if that definitely is him, then I don't recognize anybody else on this team. So, but we are going to go ahead. We are going to play this match. I have a feeling that is Lucas Podolski. I'm not sure if he is still playing at the time of recording this. He might not be. But Gracia, Gracia is a featured player here. I've been very happy with him for the most part how he's played. I just kind of wish he'd pick up the pace, especially when I'm quick simming a match. It'd be nice to see him score goals instead of my midfielders, but the game does what the game does. But here we are in Poland. We are taking on Gornik Zabja. Nice motif there. Or should I say Tifo? Or whatever you want to call it. Club established in 1948. You can see it. Take a look. Everton is on the outside looking in. <laughs> Much like they are in the Premier League right now. They've, they've escaped relegation the past two seasons. Let's see if they can do it a third time this season. Beautiful. Oh, Gracia. Gracia, Gracia. Should have been one nothing. This should be one nothing. Gracia, I just... Surely he has to be anticipating a pass from my winger. Surely. And I think that's the first goal I've scored with Casas. Come on. Is anybody interested in getting the ball or what? Okay, Gracia. Uh, again, terrible first touch. You know, that's not quite a sweat, but... You don't, I mean, you don't really look like scoring tonight, so I might as well just pass it to somebody that I know can score goals in Hector Herrera. Pretty bad when our midfielder is the team's leading goal scorer. Okay, Gracia, Gracia, Gracia. Okay, can you... Can somebody? Can anybody? Can anybody in this team play defense? I actually had to rely on Gornick to actually concede, uh, lose possession there before freaking... Oh my god, that... This team's crossing is pathetic. Jim City, come on, what are you waiting for? Okay. Can any of my. Okay, good. Herrera, once again, has to be the guy that scores goals because I don't know what my forwards are doing, not getting in an onside position. But anyway, hopefully that will be enough to see a positive result, which. Per usual, which I didn't get to see whether or not that was Podolski. Shoot. Okay, I'm not seeing Bodo Glimt or Everton. Let me look here real quick, which we're going to be simming, we're going to be playing the next game, or simming the next game, I don't know what, but we're going to be doing whatever with our second team in the next episode. Okay, let's see. Gornick. That is Lucas Podolski. I thought that was him. But we have a six-point lead over both St. Merritt and Rangers. 
And this is a home match against... Which I'm almost half tempted to play this. I mean, if we can lose at home against freaking Dundee FC, then we can, we can lose at home against Ross County. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to end up playing this game at the beginning of the next episode. Then we'll be probably be playing a game against St. Johnston, sim the match against Gornick, possibly sim the game against St. Marion. We'll be playing these two games against Celtic and... Everton, so that's a look at the next episode. I hope you guys are looking forward to that, which I think I'm going to go ahead. Oh, Gordon, so I'm, I don't think I'm playing Gordon anymore, guys. I'm not. He's already down to 67, so we're going to stick with Petrovic in net. We'll be playing with our backup team against Lost County. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.